Hey, welcome to the Linux channel. So, so far I have shot a few episodes on uh, Linux um, uh, proc file system and as well as how you can create uh, uh, these proc files uh, in uh, kernel space uh, with which uh, you can create a proc file in the read only mode or else uh, read write mode as well as how you can create a directory structure and you can organize the same in a hierarchical manner. But if you clearly notice uh, the proc files are uh, special uh, file system unlike the files which typically you get in other uh, you know uh, folders or uh, uh, the mounted path in Linux uh, system. If you see here, if I do an ls uh, uh, in my home uh, directory ls-l, you can see there uh, the files have uh, the file uh, attributes as well as uh, each file has uh, you know the size associated with the file names so you can see here this file have so and so is the file size you can also do ls minus lh so that it displays in the human readable form so you can see here uh, this says as uh, 4.7 mb and a few of these files are in kbs and uh, stuff like that but here is the tricky situation uh, when you think about uh, proc files uh, these are uh, special uh, file system or specially mounted uh, files because uh, uh, instantaneously uh, they get dynamically created as you can understand whenever you do a cat of a proc file it will uh, dynamically generate the kernel itself will generate these files so which is the reason if you do ls inside the proc folder uh, ls minus l you can see here uh, let's see uh, ignore the k core but other than that if you see here all the files have this uh, you know zero uh, length files so, so which itself is quite tricky because it shows zero length but when you do cat of any of these files uh, let's take example like uh, you know cpu info cpu info and you can see there the file uh, clearly have some content so when you do that and uh, when you uh, do wc you can see it has so and so is the file size so this is a tricky situation whenever you access this uh, uh, proc file system in user space so uh, when you uh, write a c code in uh, user space uh, in linux uh, system uh, you need to keep that in the mind uh, your basic uh, you know file access uh, code which is working well with other uh, files uh, may not sometimes work well with a proc file uh, system so which is why what i have done is i have done a small uh, sample code you can see here uh, this is a very simple sample code uh, which i wrote uh, so that uh, this code you can use it as a template in fact uh, the same code uh, i have used in couple of my uh, 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 couple of the places in my projects as well in the past so the same code you can just take as it is and then you can insert it with your existing uh, uh, project uh, so that it will work uh, seamlessly no matter whatever is the size of the proc file although it shows zero bytes in the command line uh, interface so you can uh, see the code inside uh, uh, i have this uh, fopen uh, construct and below that i am doing uh, two sample uh, dumps uh, uh, so that uh, once you fetch that uh, file contents into that uh, buffer uh, you can do a raw dump and as well as uh, i'm doing this uh, string dump or readable characters uh, string dump you can see here this is uh, you know readable characters this is so this will work well with any proc file which contains uh, uh, you know printable or readable uh, characters and not something like a binary stuff so whereas uh, this will work for any kind of binary file uh, you need a hex editor and this is uh, sort of you know doing a raw hex you know dump i can just mention that raw hex dump so what i do is uh, uh, once i demonstrate the code i'm going to uh, tar this uh, sample uh, code and as well as uh, 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 the compile script and uh, i can share it with you guys so that you can download the same from this uh, uh, youtube uh, you know description below so you can find the link from which uh, you can download the same so let me do a quick demonstration of the same you can see here uh, clear you can see here this is the compile script uh, uh, cat c so with that uh, i can compile and it also deletes any temporary file so i can just do a compile uh, it compiles the same and uh, 
you can see here you have this uh, binary read uh, proc file so before even i walk you through the code i thought uh, let me just do a quick demo so read proc file uh, you can see here it uh, prints the same and uh, this particular mode i have enabled this uh, readable character so it uh, prints this uh, you know readable character so uh with this uh, you know percentage c i can also do i can comment this portion and i can enable this portion so that it uh, prints uh, in this uh, raw hex dump so i can even do that i can just compile and i can print the same you can see here it is printing the raw you know hex dump and uh, if you need you can even control any backslash and uh, with some criteria uh, if uh, i uh, percentage 8 or something like that or you know 16 uh, then introduce a backslash and uh, you can just do any such you know combination uh, yeah something like this so i can even try that uh yeah equal to 0 or something like that yeah so this way you can do the same and you can also do let's assume you can also do another condition like uh, uh, i percentage uh, 8 equal to 0 then introduce a space so this more looks like a typical hex editor where uh, you get uh, groups of uh, 8 bytes and 8 bytes and uh, each line contains uh, 16 uh, bytes so you can do any such combination so you can see here it looks like that so uh, if you check um, wireshark or any sort of hex editor it has this sort of a look and feel so you can do any such combination anyway so if you go through the main uh, code it is quite straightforward i have this uh, huge buffer which has around uh, uh, 1 million bytes and uh, i'm uh, creating or uh, assigning the same uh, and uh, initializing the buffer and you can see here i'm doing an f open it is just hard coded because i don't want to do arguments and other stuff so let us not complicate let us focus on a simple workable sample code so that you can take this single line and you can put inside your code so that it works seamlessly so once it is done we are checking uh, uh, the file descriptor uh, and if it is uh, having no errors uh, then uh, we are proceeding while of um, end of file of fp and uh, uh, till then it you know reads all this uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the contents out of that uh, you know file descriptor you can see here f read of uh, uh, fp the max uh, size what we are providing is 1 million bytes so once it is done uh, once it is successful it is going to say or store in buff length the number of bytes it has read and uh, with that we are done so we are doing a f close of fp so it is quite straight forward like you have seen in my uh, various examples uh, whichever is an obvious code i write it in a single line so it's a quite straight forward obvious code i don't want to drag it and write something like this huge so everything i pushed in a single line so you can just take as it is and you can try and sometimes if you have some other template of uh, reading a file it may not work with proc file so that's why i'm shooting this video this is not simple uh, uh, you know file access uh, uh, um, example in a c programming or something this is i want to focus on how do you access a proc file and uh, i have given two examples so you can do a raw hex dump or as well as you can do a printable characters or you can you want to do parsing you want to do something out of it you can also do as well so that's about it so it's quite straight forward uh, like i mentioned uh, i'm going to do a tar of this entire uh, sample code and i'm going to give the same so that um, you can uh, take as it is that construct and you can also incorporate in your code Uh, having said so uh, there are couple of things uh, you can uh, notice here is uh, uh, there are some variants of which uh, you can u- usually use even uh, c compression as well uh, in my situation i don't want to complicate further and uh, that is the reason i'm just uh, using this way so that it is quite uh, 
you know simple straightforward and just it works so this is a very quick uh, video episode unlike my other um, episodes uh, which are quite in depth and uh, detailed so with this i would like to conclude this uh, video in case if you have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye